The Importance of Encryption in the Blockchain Blockchain technology is made possible by the joint use of pre-existing and individually used technologies. 1. Peer-to-peer -peer networks 2. The distributed ledger 3. Encryption The first two we have already discussed in the previous video. Let's see now how encryption is used to achieve two fundamental and vital results in a blockchain – the unchangeability of recorded transactions and consent across nodes. Let's imagine having a notebook where all the pages are initially empty. In the first page, we begin to write a transaction on each line. For example, Alice sends Bob 0.05 Bitcoin. When we get to the end of the page, we determine the total number of transactions recorded and write it down on the last line. After which, we sign the page with an indelible ink so that the signature cannot be erased nor forged. We move to a new page and write the same number that was written at the end of the previous page in the first line. Then, we continue entering more transactions until the second page is filled. In this case too, we calculate the total account and write it at the bottom of the page with the same signature from before. In this example, the blockchain is represented by the notebook, the pages are the blocks, and the total at the bottom of the page is the so-called hash of the block. Next, let's see what the cryptographic hash is. Encryption is a process by which a readable input is transformed into an unreadable output unless you have a decryption key and the process has not been performed in an irreversible manner. An irreversible cryptographic encoding is the one that does not allow you to do the reverse path, therefore going back from the output to the original input. The process used to validate the blocks in the blockchain is irreversible, but it is also deterministic. That is to say that by repeating the operation over and over with the same input, it will always result in the same output. Every cryptographic encoding process involves the use of an algorithm that defines the properties and the calculations necessary to produce the final result, that is to say, the hash. Bitcoin uses a very robust algorithm created by the National Security Agency, called SHA-256, which, regardless of the size of the file inserted, returns a string of 32 characters in hexadecimal format. Changing even a single character of the input file will result in a complete alteration of the output file. Let's make an example by using the SHA-256 algorithm. What you see is the hash of the sentence, Good morning, everyone. Let's just add a comma. Good morning, everyone. And this is the completely different hash we get. This aspect of the cryptographic hash allows us to identify why the transactions inserted in the blockchain are unchangeable, a topic that will be further expanded when we discuss proof of work and mining activities. Confirmed transactions are grouped and inserted in blocks, which are 1 megabyte in size and contain between 2,000 and 3,000 units. When a miner validates a block, it means that it solves a mathematical problem through a very long series of calculations, and the result is a cryptographic hash with very specific characteristics. Said hash is available both at the end of the newly validated block and at the beginning of the next one, so that the two blocks have an element that keeps them chained and in chronological order. As we have seen, changing even a single comma in the input totally changes the output, so you cannot change a transaction within a block that has already been validated in the chain, because you should also change all subsequent ones. Now let's talk about the so-called consensus, that is the mechanism by which all network users agree to add a block to the chain, each updating their own copy of the blockchain. When a miner solves the necessary calculation, they communicate the result to the network, i.e. the hash that is the result of the cryptographic work that was performed. Other miners verify the accuracy of the validation reproducing the same cryptographic calculation. If an identical output is found, it means that the input was also correct, and then the block is added to all copies of the blockchain. 
This is also a guarantee of the unchangeability of the blockchain itself, because in order to modify one or more transactions, it would be necessary not only to modify all subsequent blocks until the current one, but also modifying them in most copies of the existing blockchain, therefore having to control 51% of nodes.